The saying usually goes, if you can't take the heat, then get out of the kitchen. But sometimes too much heat can burn your house down. Cooking fires still um, are on the forefront of our responses. In fact, just this year alone, the City of Madison Fire Department responded to 143 stovetop cooking fires. The fire chief says a majority of them happened at student housing near campus. New numbers show that nationally there are 120,000 reported home fires and over 12 million unreported home fires per year, which is an average of more than one kitchen fire for every eight houses. As a result, there are over 3,000 civilian injuries injuries, 220 deaths, and $362 million in property damage. Experts say the best way to keep fires out of your kitchen is simply by always staying in the kitchen while you're cooking. It's part of the Madison Fire Department's Stand By Your Pan annual campaign, but there are some other ways to keep the heat out of your kitchen. In case of a fire, for just a dollar, you can pour some baking soda. Experts say the powder contains chemicals that immediately cut oxygen and put the flames out. If you don't happen to have baking soda, remember while you're cooking to always have a lid nearby. If things get smoky, you can just put a lid on it. By covering the pan, you prevent oxygen from fueling the fire. I think people probably don't know that this product's even out there. That's because it's fairly new and in Wisconsin you can only find it at Jefferson Fire and Safety in Middleton. For less than 50 bucks you can get two of these fire extinguisher cans. You then mount them into your hood. If the fire touches the wick at the bottom of the can, the can pops, dropping the powder onto the burning pan. It is designed to, uh, to take care of small stove fires before they become big fires.